And into the uh, 2012 John Burroughs Skippy Kiefer relays with Naring Hall uh, senior Peyton Cheney. Um, before we talk about how today went, tell me uh, a little bit about last last year at State. I know uh, you were shooting for big things, and uh, you guys ended up um, ran the one, the two, and the and the four, and came away with that 200 state title. Tell me what that was like. Oh man, that was incredible experience. Like that is a moment that I won't forget. I think about it still today, like crossing that finish line. Passing that last, those last two girls on that last yeah. hundred, and I was just so excited. And I saw all my family and friends; everybody was screaming. So yeah. it was one of those moments that I hope stays with me for a while. Right, right. It's great. And then uh, the uh, man, just some great battles. So many talented girls last year, and so even many. this year, and and then you and Colleen teaming up and and for, to bring home that trophy. What was oh, that yeah. like for oh, bringing home man. that? Was it third place trophy? Third place. It was awesome. I kept. When they told us that we got third, I kept screaming, two girls got third place by ourselves. Right, right. And we did, like we took so many pictures, and we were all just so excited. It was our school's first like state trophy, any place. So yeah, we it was just it, we were proud to be Narex girls that day, and yeah. it was just great to do something that outstanding for our school. And though even though you didn't meet the the standard for the Adidas you know Dream Hundred, I um, that they had originally set, they mm -hmm. they they went ahead and and. Uh, Took you and Tiana out to out to Adidas after you after you won the or let's see, did they have the dream 400 too? And you guys both ran the 100? It was 100 because we, right. we qualified at the Great Southwest Class today. That's right. That's, That's right. That's what because she ran. 11.4, I believe, and I ran 11.7, which was a qualifying time. Right, so sure. That's I, what, I was thinking yep. the four, your 400 time from, mm -hmm. from Kansas. But, yep, um, that's what qualified us. But tell me what that was like, that oh, Icon Stadium out in, out in New York. Tell me what that experience was, was like. It was awesome because I saw so many just professionals. Like I saw my idol, Allison Felix, she ran the 200. Right. And it was just awesome just to be surrounded by that atmosphere and all the Adidas gear they gave us. Which right. Was awesome. And then just running against the top 10 girls in the country high school. It was a great experience. I loved it. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to get out there again this year. Right, Definitely. right. And then uh, tell me, I know, uh, I guess we made your college decision with going to run it at Virginia. Tell me about that. Um, I mean, it was during my indoor season, and it was at Nationals, actually. And Coach Fesser, the head coach at Virginia, was there. He's like, I, want, like, I like what I see. I want to get out to Virginia. I've never really heard too much about Virginia. Sure. Well, but, I was yeah. surprised just because they're – you know, Jason, Jason Vigilante had only been there for three years yeah. and then resigned in the fall. And mm -hmm. so I was like, oh, my gosh, I wonder wonder what the state of the – what they're going to do. And But tell me about, I about mean, your decision. Yeah, it just – I was like, sure, you know, I'm still keeping my options open because sure. I hadn't made a decision yet. So I went out there and absolutely fell in love. Like, the campus was beautiful. The people were just so nice. I, I already have a great relationship with Coach Fetzer, which I thought was really important because, I mean, let me coach me for the next – Right, year, right. So. It was just the entire atmosphere and just the entire package. I was like, "Hey, I'm in." Yeah. And we were just, we were, everybody was just so excited because it, it came out of nowhere. It did, and people are like, "Why'd you choose Virginia?" I'm like, sure. I loved it. It was, it was that moment when people they talk about like when you know where you want to go to a school. Just you, feels you, right. It yeah. Feels right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've exactly. heard you know they've got a, just a just a gorgeous campus, oh, yeah. which really helps their the mm -hmm. coaches in their recruiting. But and it's great academic school too, as oh, well, which is very important. Right. And tell me, um, and I, I guess they host the AC, ACC meet. I think in two yeah. weeks. So, uh -huh. but. Uh, um, and you know, even until recently, didn't realize that Paul Cheney, former <laughs> SLU star who played football and ran at Iowa University, of Iowa, was your brother. Tell me what any what it was like uh, cheering him on and watching him lead the SLU to that state title a few I mean, year, years back. <laughs> I tell everybody that's what put me back into track because I stopped for a while, but it was him winning his junior senior year in the 100 and 200 yeah. and like their team getting their first like first place state like, trophy right so i loved it and i was there i was always like the official um videographer there videographer. I yep. was, so i would just always videotape all his races i loved watching him and i'm so glad because he's here he was here today so it's got, now the roles are kind of reversed yeah so yeah he gets great. to watch you huh mm -hmm. cool well awesome. um what's uh well, let's talk about today. How you said uh, two two school records two school today. Records, yes. Tell let's tell us okay. about about those and what anything else that you did. Um, well, the first school record was our four by one. I was second leg, and yeah, we just ran a wonderful race. And our record was from last year. 
we made it to state, but we didn't make it to the finals. Yeah. And it was like 49.87 was our record. We ran 49.84 today. Okay. So we barely got it, but we got it. So yeah. Yeah. I'm excited for the still kind of beginning of the season. So by the time we get to state, I'm up in 48, 47, hopefully. And right. And we just, I just got done running the 4x4, and I was anchor on that. And there was a team in my CDS, they were in front of us by like 40 meters, I would say, and I came around that last 100. And I, my mom was just telling me, go get that girl, you right. know you want it. <laughs> and they told me I split a 55, and our time was a 406, which shattered our record, which was like 411. So right. we were all just so excited. It was, yeah. it was a great feeling. Yeah. I was so excited. <laughs> Sounds like you're going to be have some tough decisions coming up. Did you, you say you won? You also ran the open four. Yes. How did, and you, did you, you said you won that? Oh no, not today. I ran okay. the hundred today. Okay. But I will be running the open four. Yeah. What? Uh, what's What's coming up on the schedule for you? Um, I believe we have a meet this Thursday at Afton. Okay. And then Saturday we have our all Catholic meet at Chaminade, which okay. is like all the Catholic schools. So. Yeah. That should be. Those both should be. Great meets. And then two weeks then at going back to KU? Kansas? Yes, sir. I'm okay. Excited. I'm excited. Yeah. My yeah. teammate Alex will be with me. Alex Tyson, so. Yeah. We should hopefully do some damage down there. Now, is that Brianna's sister? It is. Okay. Oh, no, cousin. Cousin, cousin. okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, the former nice. Villa Duchenne standout, who I believe is, is up at Drake, Drake? competing. Mm -hmm. So, what, uh, any any more, have you thought about postseason plans of with uh, going back to Great Southwest or going oh, yeah. back to New York or? Qualifying for junior nationals, or um, I just got my packet for the Great Southwest, so okay. we're filling that out, and then after that, hopefully get back to New York, and then probably just run summer track until Virginia says, "Hey, it's time to have you." So right, right, do as right. much as running in St. Louis as I can. Yeah, and uh, which which club do you run for? St. Louis summer? Express. Okay, and uh, which you know being pretty successful, at all all won the one, two, and the four. Yeah. Do you have a your preference? What's your? Would you have a favorite over? Over one or the other? Oh, the 200. Really? No doubt about it. I love that. Just getting off that, that first curve, curve and yeah. then coming in so straight. Because I like it's always the end of my race. That's what, that's like the best part. So that 100, I like it, but it's too short for me. And the 400 is too long. So yeah. the 100, I mean, that 200 is just perfect. Right in the middle. Yeah. I can get out, still use my speed, and then just finish strong. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it should be should be fun. Some fun battles. I, I saw. I didn't see what time she ran, but saw just. We well, hear that Tiana Valentine ran a pretty, pretty quick, I think, hundred at U City just a little bit ago. So um, it's fun seeing, you know, the great battles and rivalries build up. But what's, uh, um, I assume, with your brother and, and family connections, that you you got involved pretty quick, pretty early, and in, involved in track. Um, yeah, I started uh, running summer track when I was like six or seven. But okay. I just. I wasn't a fan, and I actually I hated it. To be completely honest, <laughs> yeah. I didn't like getting sweaty. I was just I thought it was just like, why are we out here in the heat just right. to run? But yeah, it was right right around the time my brother was like winning. I started back up in middle school, like kind of like the year after he won state. I think it's junior year, and I've just been running ever since. I kind of fell yeah. in love with it again after watching him. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Well, thanks for the time, and it's been fun to watch you and all the other Missouri standouts do so well. You know, not only in state and the state meet, but have success and go into these big meets in the in the summer. But um, so hope you just stay healthy, and we'll uh, be fun to see. Uh, fun to see you, and hopefully see some fast times and good weather in Kansas in a couple oh, yeah. weeks. So, thank you. well, thanks a bunch.